Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from cindyleebdesigns.com. I'm coming here with something I found on my desk that I wasn't sure what I did with, but I know I did it a long time ago because this is a very dated, um, not dated, I mean old paper, but still very pretty Christmas paper. So I am going to show you something I came up with because apparently I never finished this. So I am going to start out with a piece of garden green, a quarter sheet of our cardstock, and that is five and a half by four and a quarter. You can find all the measurements and products I used underneath the YouTube description, but also you can see uh, a place where it says, visit my blog here, press that link. It'll take you over to cindyleebdesigns.com and you'll find additional photos and measurements there and links to my online store. Sorry about the moving of the camera. Something is not working right for me today. Oh, well. So we're gonna start with that quarter sheet and we are going to be making this envelope. Now I made an envelope flap card that had the flaps made out of basic white and then, uh, I mean the opening part and the flap made out of DSP, but this one is using the whole piece of DSP, but it's okay because you're gonna get to see both sides of that pretty paper. So I decided to use the Delightfully Eclectic. It is a 48 pack of the DSP that has 48 sheets in it. So you get four sheets of each of 12 patterns and it is for $30 regular price, but during the month of June, you're getting it for $25. So it is a lot of paper for your money. So take a look at it. And as it says, delightfully eclectic, it's got all kinds of different fun things in it. But one thing that was fun about this is I noticed the flowers on this work really well with the flowers in the Crafting to You bundle, and I'm gonna show you how I use that. So back to what we were saying, we're going to make this width of our DSP five and a quarter. So it's gonna be five and a quarter to fit on here. So that means we're gonna need four inch sections. So what I did is I um, added four and four and then the part for my envelope. So that made 10 and a half. So I'm putting the DSP, the 10 and a half, up at the top of my trimmer here, wind tape, on Amazon reads right to left just makes it easier for me to see up there so I scored at four and eight and then at ten and a half four eight ten and a half so you have a four inch section a four inch section and a two and a half inch section now we're gonna turn this two and a half inch section up to the top of the trimmer and we're gonna bring it over to two and five eighths because two and five eighths is half of five and a quarter if you think of it this way, you've got five and a quarter, bring it down to five, and then you're at two and a half, but you still have that quarter. If you break that quarter in half, it's an eighth, so you just have to add eighth. So that's two and five eighths. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and use this marker, my garden green marker. And I'm just going to make a tiny, I'm gonna make sure that I don't move my paper, so I'm at two and five eighths. Make a tiny little mark right there that I can see. And then I am going to make my flap because I'm going to use that mark and this score line. So there's my score line here that was at the um, was at the uh, eight inch going to the ten and a half. So we put our little mark there and our scoring in that groove. And then we're going to use our now. Just to be safe, I usually start into my paper because say my blade isn't exactly as sharp as I want it to be. Um, it doesn't push onto the edges of the paper. So there's one triangle. And of course, you know we're gonna use that for something sometime. So we are going to then put that other little tick mark that we made at two and five eighths. And we're going to go over to the score line, which is really hard to see. There we go. And we're in a tick mark. And then, like I said, I'm just going to go right through the middle of paper. So I've got these cute little triangles and I just got a cute little idea, but, oh my gosh, I came with an idea right now, but I already made my card. So, and the reason I went ahead and used that green because you technically, um, <coughs> excuse me, I felt a sneeze coming on there. Um, uh, I won't really kind of notice that, but if I do, I can actually, that's bugging me. Usually I use a pencil, but I just had my marker there. So let's just, let's just kind of snip it right there. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. There we go. Well, what do you mean? Nobody will know. 
all you guys will know. <laughs> so there we, we have our envelope that is so cute. You can do this with so many different DSPs. Um, you could, you know, I like one that kind of coordinates because then when you open it, but who knows what you can do with that. So then you're just going to be adhering it to, oh gosh, guys, when did that camera go lopsided? There is, I, I just can't seem to get that thing to work right for me, but I'm just not going to stop right now because I did that like four other times. So this is going to end up being onto that quarter inch. I'm four, I'm a little, little uh, okay. No, let's just fast forward what I just said. Um, no, let's rewind. It's going to go with a one eighth inch border the whole way around this quarter sheet of cardstock, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, so what we're going to do on the inside is I say we go ahead and adhere it. How about we do that? So let's just put some glue on the back. I know it's so sad to put glue on these pretty flowers, but we get to see them on the other side. And I put two glues out because I knew one was on its last leg and then this one is good. Okay, and we can go ahead and get um, glue all over that because we aren't writing on that part. Okay, so we're gonna close that up and you know I'm gonna be having gluey fingers, sticky fingers, gluey. <laughs> okay, so we're putting that on here. So we have a nice 1 8 inch border. I don't even know where that Christmas paper came. I must have like been making something at one time and didn't finish it, but I'm kind of glad because now I have something fun to do here. So isn't that pretty how you can see that DSP on that side? And there's a lot of paper that is in the delightfully eclectic paper that coordinates. Um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know if I just mentioned this flower in the crafting with you because I had to do this video a couple different times because my camera kept doing something goofy, but there's a lot of um, stamp sets in the annual catalog that coordinate with this delightfully eclectic paper. So you wanna make sure you take a look at that because when you can get a DSP that's on sale for the whole month of June, one that has 48 sheets in it for $30, but marked down to 25, that is like a real bargain. And I'm gonna be using a lot of it in some, um, just to show you that. So look at how pretty this paper here, it has the bubble bath, but look here, fresh freesia is in there at all. I love that. So we have that envelope that's gonna close that way. Now, you could take your next layer down um, of uh, paper here, which of course is five by three and three quarters, and we could do this. Oh my gosh. You could do something like this on the inside of that card. You could pop um, a gift card in there. I may just have to do something like that. Or you could cut the, you could put these like this, and you could even cut them down somewhat more. And so there's a lot, oh, that looks really cute. So I bet I'm gonna do something like that with these. But for right now, I worked a long time to get the stamped inside there using those flowers. And what I did with those flowers is I, where did I put that piece of paper? Okay, I'm gonna show you what I did to get those two-toned. I have them underneath my trimmer over here. And this was something that was interesting um, playing around with. What I found out to be the easiest part for me was I went with my Stampin' Right marker, my green one, Garden Green, and I went ahead and colored the leaves green, okay? Do not do this with your Stampin' Blends. Um, they will totally change the color of your stamp, which is okay, I have now a, um, a stamp that is colored, um, still works fine, but it's not gonna transfer. So do not use blends to do this, only your stamp and write markers. So what I did is I went ahead and I stamped the green flowers, okay? So I stamped the green flowers, and believe me, kids, I tried doing a lot of things, and it actually came from necessity because I had ordered my, I had ordered my new 
color markers for all the new core colors, but I will um, ask you that if you order online, make sure you check because there's not a packing slip in your boxes anymore. You get an email that has your packing slip in it. So always check to make sure you have your items in there because one of mine was missing, which is fine because Stamping Up has the best customer service I have ever um, had. And so I'll be getting that replaced. But um, so I didn't have my marker to color in my flowers. So I made a spot because I didn't have a spot yet. And then what I did is I stamped my flowers in um, with my spot just because this is one of those stamps that has um, like it's not solid and what I came back and I kind of cheated with my hands and I just took a little bit of the pink off of the leaves and then I came back matched up my leaves where I saw that my leaves would be and then I stamped the pink and I got that that's the best way because I didn't have my marker um, my new bigger ink pad was a little juicy for me. So I made a spot, boom, boom. You know, we can get, you can get these in, un ink spots and I do like using sometimes, um, the felt. So that worked out. So that's how I made my little flower there. Um, fun, fun. And then that is going to go into the inside of our card. Okay. Just put a little glue on those edges and actually I can't wait to figure out like what I'm gonna do with those little corners because, well, you know what? You just take a look at this, the leftover pieces I have here and I will come up with something. That's fun, gives us another time to spend together. Okay, and, and it's funny because even though I'm on this other side of the camera, I feel like we're together. And whenever you guys comment on my YouTube or my blog, it just, I, it's just like, wow, we're just such a community. I love it. So we um, put that on the inside and see when this flap is down, how you see how pretty those flowers coordinate. This has become an absolute winner in my book. So many things you can do with this. Um, this was a million dollar stamp set. Um, I'm trying to think who's, I'm not sure whose it was, but thank you. Oh darn, I wish I had the name. I'll put it on my blog, but million dollar stamp set, amazing. Um, and here we go, boom, done. Now we have to have some place to keep this closed. So I came out with our, our wonderful something fancy dies and I played around with the colors that I wanted to use. I first had this green and I had this pink, but then I wanted to put leaves around here. So I came up with stamping garden green on bubble bath because I really wanted to pull out that bubble bath. And so I put and I think what I did, um, yes, so we're gonna put those on there, but before we do that, we are going to use another fun. Now remember, those something fancy dies, you have a lot of layering dies in there in that stamp set. And with these wonderful sentiments, that's where the sentiment came from too, something fancy. But what we're gonna do is use these amazing timeless arrangement dies. Now, I do believe you can fit words in here, but they actually have, sentiment label dies that can pop onto those sec sections. I love it, so easy. You don't have to worry about how do I put this in? Does this look right? It actually, this will fit on this, this will fit on this. So it is really amazing. There are, and I just happen to have some other, there are four different, oh, that's the same one. Um, four different, and let me see if I, oh, here's the other one here. We have four different, and this one, the little, little um, doodads aren't out of it yet, but you've got four different, and I just use these on um, a card, you'll remember, um, four different arrangements of, that just bothering me, that you can play around with. So I love that. So I put some of those on here, knowing that this is gonna be keeping this closed and the flap's gonna go in. So I die cut some in the garden green. And the neat thing about this is you can just put, no, did I, did I put it? Yeah, I didn't put it under here because I didn't want my flap interfering with it. So I put it in between. So what I did was take some of my stamp and seal, which one is open. That one is done. So let's just do this. Put some of your stamp and seal 
on the back of your label, okay? That way you have something to adhere it to. And I put the, I really like this one here. And I just put this little corner, I wanted to cover it up. So that was there. And then I put one on the bottom as well because they kind of can mimic each other. There we go. And I had a really pretty, and then I thought just needed a little something else. And instead of putting something here, I wanted to put something in here. I wanna show you how easy it is. Not only are these easy to put under labels, but you can also mix and match them and just cut them off. And I'm gonna to have to put a little bit of it, um, something on the back of here. So, uh, oh wait, it would be on the back of here. Let's just put, let's get this out here. And this is the good side. This is the good side. Let's just put a little bit of adhesive on there so we can get it onto the back here. And then I just popped that different piece of floral in the middle there. And now we've got a really pretty focal point for that card. And then I'm just gonna put some dimensionals on here and just flip those on one one over there one here and uh, another one here take those little guys off that like to travel i know if i was neater i wouldn't find them all over my house <laughs> so then we're going to pop that onto the layered now, did I do that on the wrong side? No, it is the right side. I just have, there we go. And then we're just going to put this on the front so that we can pull this flap in there. So that would mean we're gonna put our dimensionals down towards the bottom of the label. Otherwise, they're gonna impede the closing. So just put them right in those corners. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just put them like that. Um, and then, you're gonna to wanna to push that flap down because, and my camera's getting lopsided, but I guess you're still seeing it. Okay, you know it's down at the bottom. So then we're just going to put that in the middle there on the bottom and your flap opens up and then you see the pretty flowers with the bubble bath stripes in there. Oh, I can think of so many papers that this would work for. This would make an excellent invitation to send to somebody, an excellent um, Christmas card too. Um, as I said before, if you did something like this on the inside of the card, you've got a place to put a gift card in there. You could even do it something like maybe that, that the gift card could go in and inside each one of those straight parts. So I'm gonna work on that. So we close up our card, envelope flap card. You're just using, you're using a good size piece of your DSP, but you're getting to see it and appreciate both of it. If you wanted to, you could put another piece of white here if you had a longer message. Like say you had an invitation here or a really big saying here, that um, we've got some really beautiful, bold stamp sets that could uh, make an image on there. And then you could write your message down here. So, so many fun things you could do with that. But I hope you play along with it. And please, if you do make a card, send a text message to me with the photo, or you can send it an email. Erin from Canada just sent me a really fun card she made with um, our mountain DSP from our last catalog with a bike on it, and it just put a big smile across my face this morning. So thanks for buzzing by, friends.